Hi guys, this is Angel from PRDB Entertainment. Welcome to a remake of the Unreal Engine 4 on how to attach objects, weapons, guns, uh, bats, clothes, shoes, hats, different stops to a character or to a vehicle or any other objects that has bones in your game. Now, first of all, I'm going to say I'm going to be very specific in everything, so I'm going to go slowly. Do not jump minute from minute or second from seconds because you're going to get lost. First thing is that I have a weapon pack here that I bought on the Epic Game Store. It's a weapon pack volume 3. Uh, I'm going to be using only the SMG. I'm going to be using only one gun just to attach it to the character. Now, let me explain. Attaching one thing and picking up is two different stuff. We're going to attach something to the body, to the mesh of a character. We're not actually going to pick up and something like picking up the gun that's gonna be another tutorial that I'm gonna leave in the future for you guys now let's go into the Unreal um, Engine and first of all I'm gonna display I have the folder the FPS weapon pack volume 3 here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to create a new blueprint it's going to be an actor it's going to be named weapon 1 and in here what I'm going to do is that I'm gonna add a collision And I'm going to add a skeletal mesh. Now in here I'm going to add my SMG. It's going to be the X. Now I'm going to display something here. First of all, in the aces you have the X, the Y, and the Z. On a real engine, the front aces is the X. You need to be sure that your gun is pointed front to the X. Alright, so in this case we have two. We have one for the Y and one for the X, but we're going to be using the X. So this is the way it's supposed to be looking forward right now. Now, another thing that I'm going to be explaining here is for a lot of starters, anything that you get inside an actor, inside the aces, it has to be right there in the middle of the aces between X, Y, and Z. Why? If it's out of the location and you try to attach something, when you attach it to whatever it is, it's also going to be out of location and you will have to be playing around moving the object back and forward up and down left and right and just to evade those type of problems just remember always to have exported your mesh object whatever it is right uh, in the middle of the aces alright so you can get it right in the middle in here in the Unreal Engine also now I'm going to compile here, we need to come back to the event graph, but let's go first to our mannequin, because we need to work with the bones. Now here what we have is a bunch of bones of our character. We're going to be using one bone only to create a socket and to preview any asset that we want to attach to that socket. In our case it's going to be the SMG, the gun. So I'm going to search for the right hand. And I'm going to create add socket. I'm going to leave it with the same name that our real engine is giving me right now. It's hand underscore our socket. And we're going to preview an asset. And it's going to be the skeletal mesh for the SMG. SMG for the X. Now as we can see here, we need to rotate it because it's wrong right now, completely. We also need to rotate this one, a little bit this one, and we need to pull it down. What we're doing is that we're just giving a position to the gun, so every time it attaches to the character, it stays the same way that we just put it right here. Okay, so every time it gets to attach, it's supposed to get attached like this. Okay, and it's actually it's actually like not in the right place. There we go. So let's save it. This is only a preview, so it's not actually attaching right now to anything. Now, there's two ways. We're going back to our weapon blueprint now there are two ways that you can get you know the weapon attached to the, to the character you can do it on the event graph of the character for anything that he overlaps 
or in our case right now we're going to do it in a specific item so you if you create different items you can add the setups and the event actor being overlap so you don't have to add so much setups over there on the character you can do it on each item It's way much better because it will be a specifically for that item so in our case I'm going to delete the beginning event play and the event tick and right here what I'm going to do is that I'm going to choose my skeletal mesh right here I'm going to attach to component we're going to connect this with the even begin overlap and now we're going to get our player character from here we are telling already the engine that we want to get our character or one of our characters and now we are going to get the mesh of that character so the mesh has to be connected to the parent and we need to put the name of the socket that we made that is hand underscore r socket now you can snap these two to the target but I'm gonna keep it relative right here I don't wanna make a mess simple and that's it safe compile and save and we're done all we need to do is that we need to put the gun right here hit the play and get near so you can see how it attached so as you can see it already attached to the hand exactly the way that we put it over there when we were working with the bones I decided to make the remake of this tutorial because I was watching the one that I had and I didn't like how it sound uh, uh, the delay and everything I didn't really like it so I just preferred to make a new one now this one is also at six, 60 frames per second at 1080p so you can you can see it in high resolution and running really smooth and nothing like always guys I'm here to help if you have any questions there's a comment box if you haven't subscribed don't forget to subscribe hit the like button right there under this video and like always guys Thank you for watching, design, create, and always make it look good.